Hello everyone, I am Doodleman86 and today I am going to be reviewing the SH Figuarts Ultraman Suit Jack the Animation figure. This guy was revealed in 2023, I believe in May, and this big boy was overseen by Subaraya Productions and was set with an MSRP of $98. Took them a while to make him because he was revealed in Season 2 and... Season 3, the finale has been out for a while, and he's actually one of the more recent figures alongside Zofie and Ace. Zofie being set for release in April slash May of this year. So, I'm happy we're finally getting all these guys, and let's check this guy out and see if he is worth picking up. So, taking a look at the box, as you can see, it is a black background with the figure in the front. So the Ultraman and Subaraya stickers, Tamashi Nations, the Ultraman name. And actually the recent boxes, including this guy and Taro, don't have any display windows. Meanwhile, the first two Ultraman that released Ultraman and 7 did have windows. So I'm not sure why they dropped it, but the box is still look cool. I just thought it was worth pointing out. So you have the SSSP logo, which looks so cool on the sides. And then the back has some promo pics and the figure in poses. So yep, that is the box for you. I love its style. It looks very nice. It looks clean. Taking a look at Jack's articulation here, starting at the head and neck, we have a ball joint. So the head is going to be doing most of the movement. The neck is kind of limited by the sculpt. So he does look left and right pretty nice, up and down, down pretty good, up and it's, it's alright, but again the sculpt limits the articulation. And these little side fins aren't articulated, but they're not glued onto the figure, so they can pop out. I almost lost them because I thought they were articulated, but yeah, just be mindful of that. If you want to do what I did, I just glued them in, so yeah, be careful because you don't want to lose those little pieces. I, I recommend gluing them in. That's just what I did. So taking a look at the shoulders here, as you can see, we have the butterfly joint on the body. It's a ball joint, but the actual shoulder, which it's connected to, is the swivel hinge, as you can see there. So you can throw his arms forward pretty nice. Back also pretty good. And the shoulder piece is on a ball joint, so you can get a good range of motion. You have the swivel, and then you have the hinge. Hinge out at any direction. And as you can see, the shoulder pad itself can move. So it on the shoulder, the actual connection is a hinge, so it can go up and down. But the pad itself is on a ball joint, so you can adjust it to cover any gaps and make poses look natural. I think that was very well done. It looks so good. Executed perfectly. The There is a bicep swivel. Not a super smooth one, but it can move, so happy that's there. The elbow is on a double hinge. The forearm piece here is on a ball joint. And the wrists are on the swivel hinge combo. So that's always great to see. The upper body is on a ball joint. It's pretty good. As you can see, the range of movement is pretty good. The waist is also on a ball joint. It's going to be doing a lot of the movement for you. So, yeah, the articulation there is pretty nice. And the hips are also on a ball joint, as you can see. You have the drop down, so that's always nice to see forward and back. The spread is all right this time around. Not super good, but he is a bigger figure, so that's all right. You have the thigh swivel. The knees are on the double hinge combo, as you can see there. The front piece here is on a ball joint. It moves up a lot, down not so much. And then the ankles are also on the swivel hinge combo. So the hinge, the swivel, and you get a nice little pivot there. So all in all, Jack is super poseable, and I'm pleased with the articulation. It's very well done. Great articulation. Next up, we'll take a look at the sculpt and paint on Jack here. So just like his name, it's a nice wordplay, but... Ultraman Jack here is pretty jacked. As you can see, he's huge. He's very muscular, kind of like the Hulk Buster from the MCU. It looks very nice. I just like this suit. It looks so good. And the Ultraman Jack character is pretty similar in design to Ultraman. And here, there are similarities, but there are also differences. So he's not just the Ultraman suit, but big. So taking a look at the face mask here, he looks very nice. The white eyes. All these little holes and lines and crevices, very well done. You have the soft inner gray suit with these segmentations. 
the fin is very nice and we have the huge upper body with all these triangular and line patterns they look so sweet i like that it looks very nice and then you have the arms here very big the shoulder pads are very impressive looking the arms with the forearm gauntlets here and then you have the line work and the color timer is not a metallic blue but it is a nice looking soft blue i like the look looks really nice then we have the body here very smooth looking with all the seam lines to reciprocate the anime look i like that the metallic silvers and the shiny reds go well so so good and then you have the huge smooth thighs i like it it looks so nice it's so satisfying they're just so big and smooth the knee pads and the triangular curved calves with the smooth sculpt a few lines here and there the big feet looking very nice it's completely smooth on the at the bottom of the feet so that's interesting to see then you have the back lots of shiny reds the hulking body with all these pads looks great i love it overall i really love his sculpt and paint he's very well done and he looks like he jumps straight out of the anime onto figure form so excellent sculpt and paint taking a look at his accessories jack comes with three pairs of hands and a color timer so first up we get what I like to call relaxed hands. And it lets you take a look at the soft inner gray suit with the lines there. And they are bigger than the average ultra hands because he's a big boy. So yeah, there's those hands. Then you have these splayed out hands. Basically the same thing, but his fingers are spread out. Look very nice, very smooth sculpt. And we get what I like to call the thumbs up hands. So his thumbs are up. So yeah, he's saying, good job, you did good. And to get the actual hands on, all you gotta do is just pop hand off and then pop hand off. And yeah, that's all you gotta do. And I don't think I've mentioned it just yet, but the newer Ultraman figures, they're much easier to pop the hands on, which I'm happy with because Seven and Ultraman and even Taro, it's a little difficult to pop their wrists in, but Jack here does pretty good. It's very easy to pop it in and I'm happy about that. Then last up here, we have the color timer, which is red for when he goes red. So yeah, very nice looking color timer. It looks great. And to actually put it on, all you got to do is just flick the color timer off and then put the new one on. Be careful about the color timers, though, that even though Jax here is the biggest color timer I have seen on a Ultraman Figuarts, they are still pretty small and very easy to lose. So just make sure you have a safe compartment for it and know where you put it. Overall, I'm pleased with Ultraman Jax accessories. I do wish he came with a force field, but overall, I do like the accessories we got. They're pretty nice. Ultraman Jack goes for an MSRP of $98. I believe he is available on Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. And I think he's on sale at Amazon for $80, which is where I got him and that price. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking him up there. That is a great price for this figure. And he is about 6.5 inches tall, 6.5 as you can see, almost 7. So moving on to size comparisons here, we have the rest of the team. He is the muscle of the group, as you can see. He's the biggest, tallest, thickest figure and character in the line so far. So that's always great to see. Looks great with the rest of them. Here he is next to some other figure arts, which he is taller than. He's a big boy. He's not going to take up a lot of shelf space, but he is bigger than your average figure arts. So that's something to keep in mind. And then here he is next to some monsters and Haya Godzilla. As you can see, he is a very big. In the show, he's human-sized, but my little headcanon is that he's some sort of giant kaiju-sized mech to fight monsters. So, you know, have fun with your photography. Ultraman Suit Jack here is an amazing figure. I have to say, he is magnificent. He is huge, accurate, and extremely poseable. Every bit on him can move, and he is overall really fun to mess around with and put in poses. All these intricate little details and all the little pieces on him that move. It's so well done and creative that it just allows for such great posing 
and so much fun to have with this figure. He looks like he jumped straight out of the Netflix show onto my hands because he has such nice details. He looks exactly one for one with the show, which I really admire. I do like the sculpt and paint. It's very well done. The detail is just magnificent. And overall, I'm just very satisfied with the appearance of this figure. I highly recommend picking him up, especially if you're trying to pick up all the Ultra Brothers because he looks great. He's a huge figure with a huge presence. He looks amazing and he's going to stand very proudly in your shelf because I know he stands proud in mine. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.